And as Don just said, the rip currents will be a risk over the next few days. It comes right at the height of the vacation season on the Outer Banks. Then to your size, Liz Palka joins us live in Kill Devil Hills. What are the lifeguards there telling you tonight, Liz? Yeah, well, Tom, they are saying trust them when they put those red flags up. This is a busy summer vacation week, and those strong waves can throw in a lot of twists and turns. Mother Nature, she's not playing. You know, when, when those waves start coming in, you, you know, she is not playing whatsoever, and it'll just knock you right off your feet. That's exactly what the waves were doing in Kill Devil Hills on Tuesday. Earlier in the day, it was yellow flag, and then it turned into red. Ocean Rescue had the red flags up as of noon. Once the tourists hit the beach, we started getting rescues in the early morning hours from 9 30, 10 o'clock until about noon. Assistant Director of Kill Devil Hills Ocean Rescue, John Gates, said they had around a dozen incidents on their beach alone. It could be a twisted knee from the, the waves coming in, uh, rescues, actual people caught in rip currents. Gates said lifeguards weren't letting people in the water past their knees. However, surfers and bodyboarders with fins are an exception. Watching the waves and watching the guys here surf and all that, that's been kind of neat. Strong currents, massive shore break, and big waves come just in time for the busy summer vacation week. 30,000 people come up, uh, you know, they're upset because it's their second day on the beach. Yeah, it's been a little disappointing. Came here because we wanted to surf the waves and kind of get out, stay in the water and all that. These beachgoers say they're not letting anything ruin the start of their vacation. It's pretty fun. She wanted to bring her boogie board, but I wouldn't let her do that. Yeah, these are some massive waves. Gates said there's one big thing guards want visitors to keep in mind while they're in Kill Devil Hills. And if there's one message that we can at all send is that please ask the lifeguard about the conditions, what's going on with today. So the question becomes, what will the ocean look like tomorrow? Lifeguards say they will be looking for rip currents. A lot will depend on what time low tide happens tomorrow morning. But they also said they won't know if those red flags will be back up until they can get out here to the beach and check things out. Live in Kill Devil Hills tonight, I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side. Red flags are also flying at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront.